Hi there, it's Moira McDonald. Um, back for another instalment. Sorry, I'm just getting adjusted. Give me a second. Another instalment of um, Simple Junk Journal. Uh, what's lying in front of you is effectively the things that I still have that are potentially going into this journal in one way or another. Um, so, move that out. I don't need that. Uh, what I'm going to do is try to um, separate it into some sort of order, if you like. Oh, who am I kidding? Um, basically, I'm going to move it about until I'm organised and then we're going to get started on the sticking. And hopefully come up with a little gem. Uh, I mean, there's always a possibility we might know it, but we'll play it by you. Right, so I think we were just about at the middle of the book yesterday. I think we might have been the, day, uh, the page before the middle of the book when I stopped yesterday. So... Yep, there's the middle. Right, at this stage I'm not going to put anything itself in the middle. I'm going to get into the rest of the book. So let's get up an atom at a mount. And I'm going to add the C for pieces. P-I-E-C-E-S. Yep. Uh, I'll get those out because I might need those. I'm going to try and use this, which is... Oh no, I'm not. I opened the Nouveau one yesterday, didn't I? I don't know about this. I'm not sure about this. It looks like a kind of rollerball type pen, but I'm not entirely clear if... I think it kind of gunks up the end when you're not using it. Oh, there you go. Uh, so I'm going to use this, but like I say, I mean, I'm not... I used it for something yesterday. And it's, the, it's the first time really that I've used it and I can't say... Oh, that's out the come out. I don't know if I would say Aye, it's great or, or otherwise. I mean, it's okay, but it's a bit hit and miss in terms of coming out. So in that respect, I'm not impressed. I mean, let's face it, when you buy glue, you buy it with a view to it actually sticking, what you're wanting it to stick. So the last thing I need is glue that doesn't stick. I, don't, I think it's the, the delivery method isn't overly impressive. But I think Nouveau are trying to dominate the world at the moment. I'm just having a wee cuppa. You know what it's like when you want a wee cuppa. Right, my, I had cut the gold moments out before. Do you know, I'm not happy with that. I think I've made a boo-boo there. What I did was I used that Nouveau glue pen and actually ran it across this and then put the moments on top of it. But the only problem is, this appears to still be tacky, so I can virtually be assured that if I stick this down here, this page will stick to that page. So, what I could do is, as far as I'm aware, it's meant to be... Hold on, oh, no, it help if I get round here. This particular glue on these is meant to be strong enough to hold um, foil. So let me see what I've got in the way of foil here. Just bear with me. I've got a red piece but I don't know. Red doesn't really go with what I'm doing. Now there's a gold one. I can try using that. 
and see if that because if that sticks to the tacky bit then I'm laughing I don't need to not use it I just don't know if it will stick it's true probably find that it's not it might not be good enough to actually stick the foil but it's good enough to oh no it's sticking the foil oh, I'm quite impressed with that right can get away with this thing because this just then looks like uh, it was meant to be like that Right, can you see the, hold it up, can you see the gold foiling in that? I think we can get away with that, I think that's, that's actually quite impressive. I take it all back, they can dominate the world as much as they like, that seems to be perfectly reasonable. Right, I'm going to stick that down here. I'm really hoping that having used that foil I don't need to worry about I'll, I'll actually maybe go over that wee bit again just give me a wee second uh, I mean if the foil sticks to the bits that are the glue is that I haven't I've left visible then we might be okay I think that's fine actually I think that is okay Right, quite impressed. It's a bit sticky up in there. Wait a minute. I'm not impressed with that. I think the main problem with this is it's it is the fact that it's quite. Um, sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Right, we'll stick that there. That page has actually got quite a lot on it with that stamp. This is vellum, I'm not sticking anything to vellum. So we've got a page here. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to use all of the stuff I've got for this book in any, by any stretch of the imagination. But not to worry, let's see where we... Right, we can use... can make a pocket here for that page so uh, just stick a wee bit of glue down the side don't want to overdo it I got my eyes tested this morning, I was at the opticians um, I'm not going to, I wanted to go and see Detective Pikachu and I thought I was going to go today but um, my son said to me, can we make it either Thursday or Friday because oh, he was exhausted, you know that way you work you work a couple of days in a row in fact I don't even think he had worked a couple of days in a row no, he'd went to Edinburgh on Saturday to see his girlfriend came back on Sunday and was working Sunday afternoon and that just really exhausted him so he's not working today to be fair he was going to phone the tax office because there was a bit of a hiccup tax wise in fact I can hear him talk so that means he's down to tell his dad how that went I can't imagine because being a young person they're not used to dealing with phone calls. They do everything by text. Um, and as you know, you can't really talk to the tax man via text. Well, you can, but they just don't answer back. Right, 
I quite like that page there, like that, that wee pocket because there's wee birds with all love letters there and there's wee birds on this page. So it's, it's kind of like a degree of continuity. I was going to use this, which is a kind of bit of a jigsaw. It's a kid's jigsaw puzzle and I've used it in journals before so I'm going to uh, stick it to this page because it's uh, again I'm sticking to the theme of pieces so it's pieces of the puzzle in fact I'll need to go back into my stuff that Caroline gave me because I wanted to look at some of the wee puzzle pieces to maybe put one or two of them in this so the voice is getting deeper and deeper I'm gonna to have to gonna to have to go and check out what the tax man said. Did I tell you I used to work for the Inland Revenue? It was one of my first jobs when I left school. Well when I left school I worked in a factory in the wages department. And it was a horrible job. And then I managed to get a job in the civil service with the tax office. And it was um, it was a much better job and then the money was a bit better. Plus I was paid weekly as opposed to monthly, which had been how I had been getting paid. And um, when you suddenly are working in the city centre and you get money on a weekly basis, you can imagine how that kind of went, especially since I was only 17 at the time. Right, I'm going to pause here and go and find out what happened to the tax man and I'll give that time to dry and then we'll move on. So hold on a wee second. So I'm back. Um, wages are sorted. He's paid too much tax and he's getting his money back. So that's all that he's worried about is getting his money back. Um, bear with me, I just heard something in the kitchen falling over. Okay, just a couple of wrapped up bagels fell over. Now, let's get back to where we were. Aye, so my eyesight hasn't deteriorated apparently. Which is a good thing I suppose, but you'd need to tell somebody because I feel nine times out of ten as if I'm really struggling to see things. Right. Uh, I was going to stick her in at a wee bit of a jaunty angle there. I don't know if that's such a good idea because that just looks as if you can't stick her in straight. I've got a bit of what do you call it? Gauze that I could use. And then and I can hear Daisy growling at the window. See if I do that and I stick her in. Aye, it's alright because what I'll maybe do is I'll maybe put a wee leave or something there. Right, that's fine. That's what we'll do here. Uh, we'll apply some glue. In fact, before we apply some glue, I'm going to get baby light because my fingers are coming into play here. Uh, right. I think that might be the bin men. So that will be another barking session. Right, so back to the matter in hand. I'm going to spread this about with my finger and apply the gauze. I've actually maybe put a bit too much glue there. But we'll see. We'll put the gauze down. Move it about a wee bit. I think this is... Yeah. just because the, the bins are making a noise outside. 
and Timmy's being boss and blocking the door and stopping Daisy from getting in. Right, uh, now we'll apply this wee photo here. This little, um, I've put these little photo corners on and if you remember when we cut out the stuff that we cut, these came from that Sizzix set I had that what was a, what do you call it? A, what do you call those little albums? I'm going to put that down to end. It came from that little Sizzix set anyway from the mini album and I quite like them. I think I might cut quite a lot of them and start using them. I mean I know you can buy these kind of things already pre-cut. Not as pretty as these little glittery ones but you can buy them. Um, so maybe I'll do that at some point. Oh, that coffee's good. Right, I'm going to have to leave that to dry for a minute. Oh no, that's what I was going to do. Lift that back off. Help. Just stuck to that. No, everything's fine. It's all okay. I'm going to wipe that. I'm going to wipe that. This could do a decent wash actually. Uh, I'll leave that dry for a second. I'm not using that just now. What I also want to do is I'm going to stick this wee kind of leaf thing here. It's fine. And I'm going to get a sheet of acetate to cover that over. Then I'm going to put this back on because oh, this is all. Now I've wet it all, it's not dry. Put that on that to weigh that down and hopefully that will stick in place. And I'll leave that to dry before I do anything else. So we'll pause again and we'll come back when that's had a minute to dry. Right, so bear with me just a second. I'm going to try. I'm trying to ensure I've got a decent angle here, but I don't think I've done such a great job of setting up the camera. Right, so this is pretty much pretty much near dry. I've added some little gold accents, if you like, using that glue because once I once I know how to do something, I tend to like to do it. So I'm going to leave that acetate in there now so that there just is absolutely no chance whatsoever of it sticking to that page. Um, right, so this page says in the top right hand corner I've stamped today's story and what we can do is I have one of those coffee filter bags that we could add. Now that takes up too much room. Today's story, I think what we'll do is we'll add this little pom pom with a ribbon on it. Maybe a bit of lace as well. Yes, in fact, that's definitely what we'll do. Right, we shall get the Fabra tag. We'll take the bit off that's stuck to the tube and we shall put the glue on the legs. And we'll add that down the bottom. And then we're going to add another wee bit of fancy lace on top. So we'll add just wee blobs here and there. A wee line along the bottom there. And then some wee bits and bobs. with my glowy fingers on top 
Schwer. And then I'm going to add this pom pom just at the top of it. Don't want to use, I mean, I probably used more glue than I should have done there. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. See the problem with doing the pages and glue and whatever? It's inevitable that you need to stop because you you do you genuinely need to let glue dry before you tackle the next page or you're gonna give yourself all sorts of problems. So thing is I don't want to have to keep pausing the video. I'd love to just be able to rattle through it, but I don't think it's overly safe working it like that. Hold on, I'm going to put a wee bit of glue. Then all that and petal. And that petal there. We are quite literally watching glue dry. First time I um, watched any YouTube videos, it was in relation to um, card making, obviously, because that's where I came from. And uh, my husband walked in and he said, what are you watching? And I says, well, quite literally, paint drying. And it was, I'd, somebody was doing some sort of watercolour thing and I was sitting watching it and it was like watching paint dry. Um, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't boring as such. I mean, not the most stimulating thing in the world, especially if you weren't in the card making. But it was okay. Now, what I would say is, see when you add a, a decoration, um, especially when you're starting to use things that aren't just paper. This, I noticed the page with the jigsaw puzzle, that's the real jigsaw puzzle, is really quite heavy. Um, this is not heavy, but it's because it's got the, so much fabric on it, it's heavier than it would be if it was just paper. So you've got to take things like that into account when you're, when you're working. Because um, what you don't want to do is end up with um, just you know a page that weighs a ton. Right, I think we'll put one of these wee girls in here. I'll just get some glue. Where's the bottom piece of this? She had a bottom bit a minute ago, where did I put it? Oh, oh there it's there, crikey jings, I'm looking right at it. What am I like? What am I like? to weigh her down. To ensure she sticks. Put the lid back and glue it. I'm going to leave that there. And do it, put it down that way and it should still be okay. Yeah, that's fine. 
right and I'm going to lay that there because that will weigh it down for that side and it's lying on the back uh, the thing me my acrylic blocks so the glue shouldn't go through right I'm going to pause it again to allow that time to dry so give me just a wee second so next bit zoom in just a wee bit oh, hopefully that's enough right so um, where we left it was we had that girl um, the jigsaw pieces of the, the wee girl so I have added a little bit of kind of lacy fabric here as well um, I put down the E for pieces um, it's going to go in that page and over the page here if you remember we cut this frame I've actually added um, a piece of acetate to the inside of this and I'm going to use this to form a pocket here uh, so let's just get some glue and hopefully stick down enough of this that it sticks um, but what we don't want to do is stick it in such a way that the whole thing just sticks and you can't use it for anything so so it's basically going to be a see-through pocket which I thought was quite an interesting idea no doubt someone will have done a see-through pocket I've got absolutely no doubt of that because there is very little that is new uh, so and I'm going to have it hanging over slightly so it will peek out just get a lid on the glue hold it there and I managed to get glue on the acetate well done Moira Right, so there's no glue at the top, but there's only glue around the sides and at the bottom and hopefully that's enough to hold it in place. The additional problem we've got here obviously is when I was doing this, the way the frame's been cut, it's uh, fairly intricate. Well, to some extent it's quite intricate. So there's wee holes at the side and once, right, it's not, I don't think it's stuck yet, but the plan is that we'll be able to put in uh, something up here like that to our wee see-through pocket right, I'm not putting that in just now because I don't want it to stick to that right that's fine, I can leave that as it is now I've got another wee fabric applique that I'm going to add in this wee corner here I'll just put in in fact, I'll put the glue on this and we'll hope that it's not terribly noticeable. Um, I think it, it will be from the point of view that uh, it's a white fabric and it's a fairly fine fabric. There's a wee hair. Try and get that off. It's enough of fine hair. I don't know where that came from. Probably off another wee bit of fabric. Right. So we'll put that there and that provides a wee bit of deco to that corner. Right, I think that can do us. Now over the page where we've got contemplations there, on this page I was going to use a printed fabric lady with some gauze behind her again so we'll just get the gauze put down just add a wee bit of glue don't want to overdo the amount of glue I'm using because uh, the other additional problem with um, the glue is it does, because it's a weight glue obviously it puckers your page and it, it doesn't look overly attractive right I'm hoping that will stick now I don't want to use that now I'm going to use a fabric tack mm, a wee bit wary of this I have to say because I think uh, I think it will come through so I'm going to try and add the fabric tack fairly lightly overall and Move that out the way. 
hopefully this is in shot. I'm going to put some just around the edge. You can't see through this. I know you can see through this, which is why I don't want to overdo the fabric tag. I mean, I need to have enough to hopefully hold it in place. But that doesn't mean to say I need it swimming in it. I, don't, I think it's inevitable that you'll see it to some extent. It's just how much, do you know what I mean? Right, I'm not bothered about making her straight. I'm fine. Let's she sits in there at a jaunty angle. Where's my acid tape? Just to flatten it down. You can see the way it fits with the fabric tack. They might dry like that. If they do, they do. There's um, that's just one of those things. But can you use that to it dry out? Wait a minute, I'm gonna wait. This really needs a right good scrubbing. I don't know if it'll come off all the glue that's in there. Move it out right. Right, I don't want her, that glue will come through that, I don't want her to stick to that page, so I need to be very careful how I do that. Uh, in fact, I'll put that in, no I won't, I'll get another bit. Get a different bit of acetate and stick it in there so that she doesn't stick to that page while I'm working here. Right, I've got another one of these wee fabric flowers that came from the doily um, Lisa gave me. So I'm going to just add a little flower up here and the fabric doily, or the fabric flower rather. Than. Did I start my coat? Do you know I'm beginning to wonder? Ah, I did. Right, stick that down and take this, I'll just use this tacky glue again. Don't want to overdo the amount I use, mind you. Just want enough to hold it in place. Stop, help. Making a song and dance of this, aren't I? Right, that's it. I'm going to have to leave that to dry because I've got glue everywhere there. I think we want to, I do quite literally have glue everywhere, I'm going to have to try and dry that up a bit my fingers, right, I've got to put that on it to hold it down to kind of flatten it out a wee bit and we'll leave it like that to dry um, I've put the rest of the stuff that I'm going to be adding to this book I have put in the pages so that we're at least kind of semi-organised because this, I know this video is, is going to be really draggy um, because we're literally just at the, the very end of stuff. Right, we need to leave that to dry for a minute, so I'll pause yet again, and then I'll come back and we'll hopefully get the book finished completely. Right, so uh, we're back to where we were, and as I've said, I suspected that the glue would show through on this fabric, and it has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rectify it by hopefully distracting from it in some way. Um, what I've got are some little kind of pearly bling type stones and I'm basically going to dot them around. Add a wee bit of lace across the bottom here, uh, gluing it either side. And hopefully not make the marks on the actual picture screamingly obvious in doing so. Um, this is what you do when you make a journal. You, you improvise to some extent. I mean what you want to do is you want to come along if you've, if you've made a boo-boo of sorts that you feel needs to be uh, corrected. 
find the best way of doing it. You adapt. You adapt how you've done things. Put that down just to weigh that down there. Yes, I'm making the video. Let me guess. Blender time? Oh, good. I mean, I've not stopped this video nearly enough today, Sam. So we can get to stop it again. Oh, help. Yeah. Right, there I've managed to get even more glue on it. Hopefully that won't be screaming the old face and that will dry in because it's a different type of glue. Um, right, see how that goes. And I'll pause again because it's blender time. Right. Right, so we're back again. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I just, I don't know about you, but I can't take any more of this. <laughs> this is driving me banana. Right, I'm going to stick the last pieces down that don't involve fabric first because there's less chance of them causing an issue. Um, I've got another bit here that I've cut to form a tuck spot and it's another one of these that looks as if it came from um, a, what do you call it? A notepad. And it's just a bit of scrapbooking paper that had some writing of sorts. I don't know what kind of writing it was. Um, so we'll stick that there. And I don't need to worry so much about that taking over. Now I've got a tea bag I want to stick in, but I'm going to leave that. I'm going to stick her in first. I've got a bit of lace I want to put in her page. Um, but I don't want to stick that until the end because as soon as I stick the lace in, um, I need to sit and wait till it dries. So we'll put her there. And hope she doesn't spew out, as they say. And we'll add that wee bit of lace to that corner, or I might even put it over that side. We'll leave it in that bit anyway just now. Right, I've put in my S already. And jigsaw puzzle piece here. Need to make sure I get it the right way round or it will just look downright silly. So we'll stick her in. I'm going to put it a wee bit of jaunty angle because I quite like I don't like everything to be just dead uniform mainly because I just you know, see when you've started tea staining paper or in this the instance of this book I think the majority of the paper in this book isn't tea stained as such there might be some tea stained but there's quite a few that's been coloured using mica powder and when you're using mica powder um You've already started to discolour the page in a fashion, uh, albeit a kind of, in this particular page it's a kind of pinky hue. I think some of them might have a bluish hue, but when you've added that to, you know, you've already made the paper not pristine white, and if it's not pristine white, then you don't need to, you don't need to work it in such a way that everything looks exactly as it should if you like it's it, you know it's the whole thing is to give it give it your touch do you know what i mean make it your journal as opposed to anybody else's um i'll be honest i don't actually watch an awful lot of videos all the way through these days and mainly because some of them are awfully long and i've got a cheek to talk because this is going to feel like it's lasted a day and a half um 
It feels to me like it's lasted a day and a half and I'm making it. But it's just, oh, it's, you know, a, a really long video honestly just does nothing but cause problems for me. I, 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 very, I don't have a long attention span. I like things to be done. I've got the cheek to say this as quickly as possible, especially when you consider how long this book is actually taking today. Right, I've got one wee girl left. And I'm going to stick her here. Then we'll go back and we'll do what's left of the lace. And that'll be us. Jut out a wee bit at the bottom, but there's not a lot I can do about that. I don't think it's really going to matter that much. I don't think I can honestly shove it up anywhere, anyway. Oh, no, that's the wrong bit. Oh, no more, you don't want to use that. That's, that's your real. Your quality stuff, you know, like yes, I am just using my acetate to hold her down because if I use my fingers, I'll mark it given that it's I've done this in photographic paper, I'll mark the paper, and that really doesn't it doesn't add to anything. Sorry, it's chips want to play, so she's my brother's come down to play ball with because um, I can't even do it obviously because I'm doing this, or it would be me that be running about outside. Right, I want to stick this down. I need to be very careful because these pages can stick together so so easily, and I don't want that to happen. Right, so I want to add my fabric. I'll use my fabric tag for this. And this little piece of applique, I'll put it over this page. This little piece of applique was donated to, to the Help Moira Make a Junk Journal Fund by my lovely friend Anne Porter. Anne is a friend from Instagram and has, uh, she's won one of my journals in the past um, as well. So, and she's been a customer of mine and a very loving friend, a very generous friend and just an all round nice person. Right, so this is the last thing. Now, this there's no way I'm doing this without the glue showing through. So what I need to do is start get it the right way up, right? Um, I'm gonna, I don't want to use an awful lot of glue here. And what I do use, I'm going to spread it about with my finger to kind of make it as um, flat as possible. I don't think that's going to be enough glue, but we'll see. And I'll add this. This has been just stamped with some full postage stamps. And we'll add that there. Right, I think that's us for the sticking of the things and the things of the sticky. And we're making sure all our pages can open. In fact, the best way of doing it is putting something in each of the pages so that it's impossible for things to stick while it all dries. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't mind sticking something else in there. Uh, I could put, I've got a kind of postcard. I could add that there. What we might do is we've got a vintage photo. And 
and we'll just add that. I'd got a little paper flower out that I was going to add in um, but to be honest I don't know where, where to put it because I thought I was going to have to add it to go back to it. Right, I've now added a variety of little pearls to her and some leaves in the corner. I might actually put the flower there. I'll need to try and Bear with me because it's obviously the flatter it is. See when something's got too much dimension, it can make shutting a page very difficult. Um, and I do like, I like paper flowers, don't get me wrong, but they can cause a bit of bother when it comes to trying to shut your book. And that's no use to my inner base. This has been the page from HE Double. Right, I'm going to need to hold that in place for a minute. Right, that's us. That's it for today. Um, what I'll do is tomorrow I'm going to finish this off by doing um, a small embellishment, fabric embellishment for the front page. We'll stick in the wee bits and bobs of ephemera that I've got looked out for this book and then I'll do a walkthrough on all tomorrow and you can see what you think of it. So thanks very much for your time and I'm really sorry this has been pretty dragged out and tortuous. It's hardly surprising I get less and less viewers each time I make a video. Um, people realise how long it takes me to do things but I'm telling you, I'll warn you now, see if you want to do something right, you can't do it quick, you need to take your time. Uh, you need to let glue dry before you move on to the next bit and that's what makes for things being very drawn out um, but you need to decide yourself do you want something that's nice or do you just want a fluff piece because you ain't getting no fluff piece from me um, and from that tackle I make sure to do it as best as I can um, and as well as I can right anyway no point in griping on about things we'll give this a break and I'll try and peel this page off because it's obviously stuck there we go. Um, we'll chuck it just now and I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do the fabric flower for the front of the book and uh, the final run through and you can see what you think of it. So thanks for your time and I'll see you all again soon. Bye guys. Bye.